Adding images. There are three ways to add images to your Moodle course and they all need you to have the editing turned on either by clicking the button top right or by scrolling down and in the administration block clicking the link turn editing on. If at the top of your course page you then see a message saying that you could drag and drop files you can use our first two methods. If you don't see that you can use a third method. In the section on reading I'm going to add a little graphic which I have over on the right here on my desktop. When you're adding images it's important to make sure that you have permission to add them, that they're creative commons or public domain and it's useful also to get them the right size for the Moodle course before you upload them. I click edit and then edit topic in the reading section and this takes me to Moodle's Atto editor. Note that we need to use the Atto editor to drag and drop our image. I simply put my cursor on the image, click to hold it and then drag it into the reading topic section summary. When it's saved, we can see the graphic in the reading section. An even quicker way is to drag an image directly onto the course page. I'll do that with the second image to go into the speaking section. When I drag it in, I get a message asking what I want to do with the file. I want to add the image to the course page and when I click upload, it displays in a label. If you're not able to drag and drop to upload, let's look at the third method. I want to add a graphic in the listening section of my course. I'm going to add it to the topic summary again, so I click edit and then edit topic and then in the Atto editor toolbar, I click the icon which looks a bit like a mountain. It's the icon for uploading an image and then when I click on it, I'm brought to a box where I click the button Browse Repositories. This takes us to Moodle's file picker, which we look at in a separate video. I simply want to upload my chosen image from my computer, so I choose Upload a file, and then I click the button which says Choose or Browse for a file to go and select my image. It could be saved with a different name if you want, change the author if you want, change the license if it's not appropriate and then click the button to upload this file. We need to add a description or if we don't think it needs a description we can check the box. We can change its size and change its alignment and then we save the image and it's displayed. So there are three ways of adding images to your course page, two by drag and drop and one by using the icon in the text editor.